Hello and welcome back to more Borderlands d and Still can't call it what I want to call it. Copyright issues. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to call it? I. Do you know what I want to call it? No, I don't. They might get mad at us. But last time we had everybody starting off after the great big laser of fuck off was fired freezing a large section of the uh, a large section of the invading lance forces both groups of people both Bertram with his and the rest of the players had a plan in mind the players ran they booked it they got out of there Bertram was trying to figure out what's going what was going on and how to meet up after a couple of high-speed car chases, some theft, some oil barrels, and pop tires, everybody managed to get away from their respective people and start back towards Keepsake. Along the way, Bertram met back up with the group and explained his side of what was happening on and got at least mostly agreed, even if some somewhat tentatively, of rejoining the party and meeting back up for the future stuff. Everybody proceeded to catch back up, move back together, where some conversations were had in the back of trailers and some very important information came to light. People's last names were thrown out, solar systems were mentioned, but it was a whole thing. Sniper the rifles were discussed the possibility of... Yeah. And in the end, it was uh, made known to the group that Nessa's last name was Jacobs and all that comes with that. However, we ended the last session as everybody made it back to Keepsake with the doors to the town slightly ajar and damaged. Pulling in towards the main center, a number of uh, a number of bandits and other people just dead in the street before running inside as you heard gunfire coming from the bar. Running into the bar, throwing it open, you guys got there just in time to see Ghost finish shotgunning down one and... Uh, what was it? And uh, Mr. Hancock, Bo, staking another one to the table with a bent, with a uh, combat knife. And looking at breathing heavily and at the rest of them and just... I think we have a problem. And that's where we left off. Actually, I believe somebody else made an offhand comment, but that's not important. That's where we left. I think that's where we'll pick up. I mean, that sounded like a very important comment at that time. Oh, no, no. Somebody else's offhand comment was not super important. I don't know. I don't think you mean Tanya's super comment, important. right? Yeah, it was super important. Well, does anyone Tanya remember what that is. comment was? Yeah, we know yeah. what it was. Well, then say it, because I don't remember it. Are you going to add in <laughs> to the recap? Robert, say it. <laughs> <laughs> Upon seeing a Bo basically turn around a psycho and then stab it through the chest. T Tanya had just went. Tanya had just went. Does Clay need a new mom? All right, that definitely sets the mood. Okay. Something For anybody who has him in sight, you watch him go through the seven stages of grief <laughs> at about 0.5 seconds. Second. Look at Cuban having fun. Cool. The best. Who all, who all was in the room out of us? Because I didn't. Not everyone said they immediately got out. I was gonna. Get, yeah, if I'm, I'm running in. I see violence. I know I went in. I think. Okay. No, Bertram, I did. Crystal, Tanya, Nessa. Oh. No, literally, I think everybody but Schmidt rushed in towards combat because they heard gunshots coming from inside. <laughs> Uh, what because Schmeet was asleep in the trailer. Yeah, I think Schmidt was the only one kind of meandering behind, and I think we said he woke up to the shotgun blast as you guys were going in. If we did it, you could wake up to the shotgun blast as they go inside. Sounds about right. So, what would you guys like to do in this moment? Attempt to determine uh, if there is still an ongoing threat or if things are okay now and further explanation is about to be coming. Fair. Uh, at the moment, it seems like everything is taken care of as people start to take heavy breeds and pull it out. Uh, Bo just rips his knife out of the bandit and table. 
and walks over and like wipes it off on somebody's shirt before putting it back to where it will like back like almost inside his vest somewhere where it was hidden and walks over and is getting a, a towel and stuff to wipe his hands off well it goes looks like you might have to clean up some tonight He just looks down, like, kind of annoyed and saddened by the news. <laughs> you guys look around, and there's, like, eight or nine bodies in here. I can give you a hand if you want. I think I'd appreciate that. Alright, I guess I go assist him. Let's start by getting him out back into the dumpster. I think me too, this way. Yeah, I'm coming. I think this is about when you roll in. Shotgun noises do create a little bit of urgency with movement. Just skittering in, kicking through the door. I'll say, does this have does this have like the uh, like Western saloon style doors it that just does, keep open? And they're not. It does, and like they don't go all the way to the ground. So I was just debating if he would even have to kick it open, or if he just runs it under it, or if he jumps purposely to he's, kick them open. Nah, he's just getting underneath it. He's, he's, okay. He's in that low enough so when he hits, you can see the thing swing open because he's smacking with his face. <laughs> <laughs> Head just smashes it open. You know, like when a dog runs into like the glass. Yeah. Like that. Uh, you guys watch watch that. Oh, there you. <clears throat> and watch the, as, uh, why do the players treat Schmeet like he's an animal? Also, Schmeet. <laughs> yum 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if they're alive, he starts at the feet sometimes. I honestly do not believe he has ever asked that question. <laughs> I, I keep saying he's like he's like the he's like the family pet. He's an advocate for it. <laughs> Is everybody else like, oh, why are we treat him this way? He's like, awesome, very strange going he likes with him. It. <laughs> Shmeet must there be is. soon. Barry's just kind of accepted this is his new lot in life. It's not that weird for Barry. Look where your monastery is. Meat just a meat. Nothing you can do about it. It's just Let him be. Shmeet's loyal. That's all we need to know about Shmeet. Just remember, Bertram is considered one of the girls. <laughs> so is Shmeet. But for a different but, um, reason. Well, Tanya's well, everybody. Not. Tanya scares Sorsha. Not Sorsha. Nessa. <laughs> Two space campaigns in a row. <laughs> Two space sci-fi campaigns in a row. A little rough there. Too many names. So everybody was taking the quick assessment and Barry and Ghost start to like haul bodies out. Um, Bo walks up to one with like currently has the towel tossed over his shoulder. He grabbed from behind the bar and is filtering through a jacket on somebody and on one of them like puts him up against the bar and is filtering through and pulls out one of their echo devices and sets it on his table before finishing wiping his hands off of the blood and getting trying to clean up some. You can't do it perfectly because, well, his shirt's stained and his vest is stained now. That's not going to come out with a towel. <sighs> so how have your days been? Has it been as eventful for you? <laughs> not today, really, but last week. No, today's been pretty eventful. That was yesterday. Or two days ago. Whenever it was. You guys were in that trailer for a few days. Just time blur in the trailer. Time drags in the trailer. You can't really see the sun. The determining the factor on the flow of time is whether or not the voice in the sky goes a few days past or not. <laughs> Can I get a barrel of water, by the way, later? No. 
I was asking was asking Mr. Hancock. I mean, it could probably be. I'm sorry, I don't know you yet. Why do you need a bar bottle, a barrel of water, and who are you? Hi, I'm Tanya. I think she's gonna take a bath. Clean. Well, that was one thing, but I also need to clean those bones for the marrow. Bone butter. Mm. There he tosses it out. New siren. New to the group. I don't think that's information you should just give people. He knows fucking everything about us. He might not know I, me, though. I don't have a In fact, I did not know you had another siren. I'm the only one here without a bat. Which is weird. And I don't understand how. Considering what you've gotten yourself up to. She doesn't get caught. Apparently. I suppose if you need a bath or a shower, we have some here you could use if you'd rather do that than a barrel. Well, that was, like, that was more for the bones. You know what? Fuck it. Ghost, if you have a chance, grab a barrel of water. He just <laughs> sighs as he looks down at the body he's dragging. I go drag the other one. Hey, Shmeet, can you save the bones from whatever one you eat, please? I can give it so what are you making? Bone butter. What is Why? bone butter? It's the marrow. For what? Food. It's really good on steaks. Okay. <laughs> is the other one still dead or is he still kind of alive? You said he was pinned to the table. Oh, he's dead, dead. Okay. Stabbed through the chest and pinned to the table with a knife for a moment before it was ripped right back out. That dude's dead. I don't know if he was still kicking a little bit. Oh, uh, what kind of what kind of gear they have on? Because I'm just gonna like take shit out of their pockets. Yeah, you guys can pull for the gear. Um, it's a handful of like kind of basic weapons. Uh, there is of note. Excuse me. Uh, of note here, there's probably mostly a collection of pistols or submachine guns. I was throwing like the ammo and the guns on the ground. Okay, well, it's fair. I'll get it a full on number for you. I should have put that together faster. And I already want it. I like my shotgun. I'm keeping my shotgun. But well, uh, Schmidt's tossing ammo on the ground. Bo is pouring himself a drink. Uh, Miss Ness, I believe we have something we'll have to talk about here in a short bit. Y'all look like you've been in for a while. Do you need anything to eat? That's good. But after I've been helping with this. Tanya in the background slitting one of slitting one of the body's throats over her canteen. Okay. <laughs> that's bad. That's not that's not any of the players there. That's just bad. Like, okay, this is happening. I didn't I know forgot. that was Bo. Nope. I don't think Bo Bo's lived here long enough. He's all right. And Clay's just gonna be like, you know what? You guys can catch up. I'm going to go grab some stuff. And he starts upstairs. Just hey, wait, like, you... I not paid enough for this shit. Wait, I'm not paid. We protect you from dying. I wouldn't be in as much threat of dying. Take you to exotic places. I drove. 
free bodyguards at said exact places. You got you know, to meet. I'm not having this argument, I'm going. You got to meet new people in the ice place. You're a very kind soul. I appreciate the compliment. I'm going to go grab my stuff and some of my notes from before while I process all of that fun stuff and try to forget the last 10 minutes. Not 10 days? Nope, just the last 10 minutes. We did Iridium stuff in those 10 days. He needs that. Um, but I would stop and look at the rest of you and be like, so would anybody mind uh, catching me up on anything? Uh, it seems to have been a eventful time. Not that I know oh, entirely what's happened. People haven't been the most forthcoming. I don't we want to talk asked. about it. Crystal was there the whole time, and Bertram had his side of things. Yeah, that's another interesting set of questions I have for y'all with him back. Or he's just gonna keep working in the background. Keep an ear out, but... They... It don't take long to carry it. It's like eight or nine people. You With both you and Ghost, you guys are big guys. It's one body each trip, both of you. One or two probably disappear due to the cannibals in the party. <laughs> Cannibal in the party. That's mm -hmm. plural. <laughs> no, Someone just too. split open a fucking guy's throat to go and fill a canteen. Cannibals. It is uh, cannibals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They talked for like five minutes about making butter from bone stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Sorry, you count. <laughs> At this point, I'm just toning it out. I remember oh. Smeet, and I They're remember harmless. just Smeet. <laughs> After Bo said the thing about... <laughs> Uh, said the thing about um, Bertram there. Tadius is kind of like put her hand up in quiet talk. He's, I'm pretty sure Crystal likes him. Looks down at like he had like one of those sh like what is it? You know those whiskey glasses? They're like the wide short squat ones. He had it at half full and he just looks back down and he fills it all the way up before he'll continuing to look back up into y'all. <laughs> Seek the summary then. So no one wants to share or enlighten me to whatever to the ever fuck happened. Well, that's Tanya. Why would you to explain? She eats people. I drink them. Also, but I she think she she's nice. <laughs> they did All a thingy right. with the lance. They did a thingy with the lance that I wasn't there for. Bertram can say that stuff. She's an artist. Yeah. She makes statues. Well, everybody needs everybody needs hobbies. Bertram, you she seem to good at talking. Into stuff. Well, yeah, there's my side of it, but that's all self-contained, and I can get it all done in one setting. Everything else, though, I'm kind of out of the loop for. <laughs> Yeah, but you can say your stuff, and then we can say our stuff. Do you need to get to together me. and figure out how to talk about it, and then... Yeah, sure, fine. I guess I can buy you time. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know, because I just about fucking shot you when you walked through the door. That would have been rude. But, yeah, so was the previous thing of what happened, apparently. A building fell on me! That happened. I wasn't involved in that. <laughs> No, it was a bully wog, whatever. Bully bong, but yeah, interesting. I got it, her. Well, he would be willing to tell him what he knows, but Dylan doesn't really fucking remember what the hell's happened. It's speaking She's of gonna that. like kind of lift up her shirt and show a giant bruise on her side from where the building fell on her. And speaking of that building felling bully mong, I'm guessing you guys chased it? I heal that bruise for her. Well, te well technically, we chased Tanya. 
who chased it. Okay. Did you find anything where you ended up chasing it too, or was it just a bunch of bully monks? Because that coordinated or semi-coordinated attack on the village right as you guys happen to be there is still extremely suspect to me. We found more bully monks, and there was kind of a weird place where it was kind of heated up underground. And then this old man got kidnapped. He was nice. He didn't die. He was a little stinky. The guide. Oh, I thought you said... So, Tanya's, Tanya's nothing gonna obvious. Heal. All it's right. Bruce. <laughs> Thank you. Also, very for, a short and concise summary of what the fuck's happened over the past. Uh, for Bertram there, who hasn't seen this yet, Tanya just like hoax Nessa's bruise, and it pretty wow. much just it's like regeneration just fades away. With no ill side effects on your end, correct? Correct. <clears throat> That's the thing, You're apparently. a witch and a vampire. No, Crystal's the witch. I should take offense <laughs> to that. But I feel like I can't. Let's think of all the Halloween costumes. Real talk, I'm just holding off on my explanation because if I start, it'll shift gears so hard that the entire vibe here will just be it's wrong. It's okay. <laughs> Very, I'll be Dr. That's... Frankenstein and Tex can be Frankenstein. Dylan Dylan did the easy thing and said, I exposition dump. <laughs> because Barry, I mean, because Barry knows what the fuck happened. Dylan no longer does. Yeah. It's been so, too right. long. Okay, this piece spell's kind of fucking funny, though. It is way more accurate of how people would share information. You know what? Just let them fucking continue. No, I, I think I think I like the idea of Barry exposition dumping. Well, this, this is happening on the side. Just for the yeah, sake of nope, it. Nope, I'm down for that. <laughs> sure, yeah. Just for the sake of it, since I'd be listening to that, or anything... Does anything really, like, perk up my attention or Hancock's here? Because um, I've been purposely sure. like half listening whenever it's no, on fair. them. I'm trying to think if anything exceptional would stand out. There's the fact that the siren exists and that has been going funny. along yeah, with. You have. There yes, was really the cool initial con. ruins place that activated at them, I think. That might. Whatever. Yes. Then the second thing with the trap thing, and then more ruin activation, but I'm really foggy on those details myself. Uh, that one was just a trap left by uh, Dockett and his group that managed to jury-rig the security system to reactivate when somebody else came in and act, uh, did, dug into the bottom panels. But does this explanation say jury-rigged like magic or jury-rigged? Technology, or just Jerry rigged it not to go off yet somehow. It was, it was, it seemed more tech based. Somebody Jerry rigged like a little bit with the iridium pieces, kind of like how uh, Clay could mess with them a little so bit. Like a technological interrupter. It's, it's a know how, not a magic, okay. sh not a siren power bullshit. At least that's how the description comes across. And then apparently there is an ice wizard off in the north. Was I included when I said laser. I wanted to be Frankenstein for Halloween? No. I might have been, or might have not. I just might not have caught it quite. No, because you said that in, te in text, no, the right. Frankenstein's monster. Oh, that's okay. Right, yeah. I just realized I was muted and I didn't know if I muted after that or before that. Seems like after. Yeah, because I remember that now, yeah. It's a good idea. Um, there's a description oh. of the individual up uh, uh, taking over the ice. Tun the Tundra King would be one that might f stand out a little bit for a descriptor of interesting, but like nothing flags in your head of who they. Yeah, need. that's the ice wizard off in the north. <laughs> yeah. Um. You might have some interest in the fact that they had that laser and whoever it was from, but the group itself didn't get much information on what it was and what was happening. And I got to see the other side of that anyway. He yeah. was a pretty cool guy. 
yeah pretty chill um No, honestly, most of it I don't think would be exceptionally standout. There is the descriptor of the animal and its, uh, what is it, the uh, uh, tracker beast and what it did. Like its abilities and such. <laughs> I think that'd be most of it. I think so. Well, it's certainly been an eventful time, it seems. How about you? Would you like to uh, share and partake in why I shouldn't have you shot here? It would help not at all. <laughs> but once the initial Lance uh, meeting in the cave there went and we ended up at their base it was Jeffro and I had a had a chat with the commanding officer so it seemed and at the end of that they pulled up a screen and had the what I'm guessing is at least in higher up if not the leader of current Anshin on there which really Put a damper on everything. After that, uh, Jeffro signed up. The rest of the group got out. They put me on hunting detail because, uh, saying no fuck you and punching somebody in the face surrounded by, you know, their base seemed a bad idea. <laughs> Just basically been keeping behind the group proper since then. No amazing details to share outside of the fact that there's obvious ancient agents agents within the thing and it seems that they are working toward some project that they called Gehenna, I believe. And part of that is collecting a bunch of sirens for her. Of which they also specified that they needed Nessa. Who is saddeningly, after, po after questioning, very ignorant of the entire circumstance of that and both the danger of her own name. Sets the drink down. Sighs for a minute. <clears throat> Looks over at Nessa so everybody's more than aware then the problem is she wasn't aware yeah I'm aware of that part fuck it. I was hoping it would stay a secret just a little bit fucking longer but we don't get what we always want and how are you dealing with that revelation as he turns to Nessa <coughs> If you're speaking, you might be muted. If so, it's a mic mute, not a Discord. There's a noise. Yes, is gonna twiddle her thumbs. It was a small family business. I Maybe thought. Maybe like 500 years ago. I don't think it's been small for a long time, but I can understand why you didn't get the full scope of things. You were kind of kept out of the way of most of that. Not in the loop. And he's going to think about it, and he's going to pour a small drink and just sew it in front of you. I don't drink. I'm not old enough. Well, you're how certainly old enough on Pandora. <laughs> I was going to say, how many times have you been shot at, almost killed, or had to kill? Alcohol at a young age stunts your growth. 
Well, that's your choice. You make healthier ones than I do. As <laughs> he downs his. Don't they say the same thing about coffee? You're old enough that it won't stunt your growth. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> May May. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's their chinchilla, by the way. Do what? Chinchilla bouncing? No, she's chewing on plastic and she's making a lot of noise. Well, the mic isn't picking it up. She has food. I just fucking fed her, I think. She has Nothing delicious so plastic. Chew toys. She doesn't need to chew on plastic. But it goes. Crickle, crackle, crunch. <laughs> and well, it forces you to notice her. That puts a few more things into perspective overall, I think. He's going to take the echo recorder and set it in front of Unessa. I'm pretty sure this is something you should listen to. Whether you want to do it out here or in private, though, is up to you. Is it something that I should not let other people hear? <laughs> well, originally I would have said yes, but you seem to have a group of people who are aware of your family anyways. Although I might shut the doors and lock it up for the night before you play it, if it's down here that you play it. I'll play it down here. Okay, give me a second. And he'll reach down and pull out a key and walk over and, like, the swinging doors are there, but he does have some that you see that, like, blend into the wall that he slides out and latches in. That's just the whole door shut and clicks it and locks it pair of bigger swinging doors yes just <laughs> go lock up the back should we call clay down for this uh, leave him be more importantly all of y'all hear this one I think or at least that she hears this one. About to add to this roller coaster of a week you've been having, I think. Do you hit play? Or would you like oh. to or how is uh, how how is Nessa like? Is this? I'm just curious. How is Nessa in this moment now with the ominous word? No, he put it in front of you. Yeah, it's like you're gonna hit play. She looks at him expectantly. Her blue blood shining through. <laughs> <laughs> she hits a button. I don't know how these work. Okay. No, that's what I was just asking. That's what I was curious about. What I was feeling at the moment. But if you want to drink that, it does. I do not. Well, no, that's what I was just asking. I was curious. Ness is like, uh, how Nessa was feeling with all the uh, fun buildups and everything to this one of. How is Nessa in this moment, given the week and everything? Tired. <laughs> that's fair. Okay. As you hit play, it starts the recording. It starts to play, and it's like, at first, it's a bunch of like sounds like kind of like random, rough smoker voices, normal voice. Uh, just sounds like a bunch of middle-aged guys arguing, basically of like, all right, you got it up, you got it up. No, you record it, hit the button. You need to hit the button. Have you have it running? Yeah, yeah. Why do we need it running? It was like last time we took one of these contracts, they fucked us. So this time we're at least getting everything down on audio so we can, you know, I don't know, fucking blackmail them if we need to. We're getting our payment one way or another this time. So yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I think we we're recording. We are. Fuck. Finally. Okay. And 
It's like, all right. And they put the a call goes through. Like you hear like a, a connecting sound or a dial sound on a, what is it? Ringtone. That's the word I'm looking for on like slightly muffled and coming through on the other side of something before the line picks up in here. Uh, are you the individual? Are you the uh, people hired for this? Yeah, yeah, we took the job. Well, we kind of need the details of this. You're... <sighs> the contact was pretty uh, vague. And, and a feminine voice continues, more feminine voice continues of, yes, uh, discretion is very much important on this one. And you have the uh, image, you know, you're looking for. I need you to find her and bring her back. Or her body back at this point. I don't really care. I'm tired of these games. He's like, all right, give us a name. And they have the name in the picture. Um, anything. But you kind of haven't given us anywhere to go. And it's like, it's probably uh, start in this town. I don't know where all you people fucking live there. There's a keepsake. Yes, yes, keepsake. Start there. Start working their way out. God knows that's where he, the, the shit probably sent her. He was always a pain like that, and that's probably where. Start there. Work your way out. You'll have a better luck that way. And our payment for this. Yes, you have half of it now. The other half, when you bring her back one way or another, we need this loose end nipped off. Well, we'll be on our way, I guess. But uh, we will be getting our fucking pay, unlike the last time you screwed us. Like, yes, yes, yes. No, that was a bad business. We'll be doing better this time. Just get the girl, please, and thank you. That little thing is like, now you have your job, get moving. And they hang up the phone on them as the guy starts to like open up his mouth to say something again and just, oh, fuck, fucking rich people. Anyways, cut the, and it cuts off there. That seemed to be a video recording. It was an audio recording. Okay. You just added the as they open their mouth. Like it's like though so as they open their mouth, like you know when somebody starts to like starts a word and cuts it mid sentence. Alright. Or mid like, that's what I'm meaning by that. A main question? Does uh does Bertram or Nessa recognize the voice? Of the Bertram woman? does not recognize the voice at all. Nessa very unfortunately you do recognize this voice. Mm-hmm. Of Auntie Catherine. Bitch. That's... That's my aunt. It is. She's talking about me. Well, considering the pushes another button on the echo and on the screen, it lights up with your face. Yeah. Yeah, I think she is. But why? If everyone else is, every, yeah, if everyone else is dead, she gets to run the company, right? think she'd be very good at running the company between you and me she's not the sharpest tool in the shed i don't she think someone being loose. good at running something has ever stopped someone from wanting to run something but her husband already runs the company she already has money no that's uh auntie catherine her husband's not running anything Mm -hmm. More power, more money. This is your Aunt Catherine. Uh, the person running it was your uncle and uh, your uncle and uh, dad. 
uh, your Aunt Catherine, remember, is the one that's your mom's sister. Oh, never mind. She has no money. <laughs> <laughs> she could be going after your bounty then. Offer them a lower price. Well, it sounds like she's going to have a problem when she when they find out she don't have no money. Not if no, they had returned even, uh... you. Then suddenly she would have a lot of money. Could also just be used in family funds, take it from other members. Or the company itself. Unless someone's giving her money. But the only person she really talks to in the family is my mom and my sister. Mansion people? Not that I know of. I mean... But honestly, I don't know a lot, apparently. It's just weird that she would want someone to come after me when my uncle's the one that sent me here. Looking a bit pleadingly over at Bo, can we have anything to alleviate the don't know a lot factor? The answer might be more liquor. What happened on your birthday, Nessa? What happened on my birthday was we went to dinner. Like normal. And my pa told me that I was going to be the head of the company. And then I got upset and went to bed. And I got woken up in the middle of the night. And now I'm on Pandora. Because there was someone after me, I think. Nods, gestures like the hand, uh, uh, keep thinking on it a bit. So, by this assumption, I'm assuming it's my aunt who's after me, but I don't know how she would know that I was head of the company unless my mom told her. She was at dinner. Keep in mind. Never mind. She was at dinner. I know. I know. That's why I was trying to help you remember that on that bit. Sorry. So get rid of the Harris, and she had the chance of becoming a new Harris. But she's not related by blood. She's your aunt. No, she's, well, she's gone, my then, aunt, but she's, she's my mom's not. sister. So yeah, but if... She... But if everyone else is dead, she could just lie and say that someone passed it on to her in inheritance or whatever. Or, or to, to well, ask the hard Ryan question. Ryan. What about your mom? Because from, from what you said in the trailer, you don't exactly have the greatest relationship. My mom does not like me. Mm -hmm. Are you sure she's your mom? <laughs> Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can confirm she is. Do you have any other siblings? Well, I have quite a few siblings. Are they okay? Siblings or cousins? There's a difference. Both. She sounds like she had a really big family. 
Yeah, I thought they just had a lot of cousins and uncles and aunts. Well, technically, I have three siblings, and I have two cousins. So not a huge family. Do any of them hate you as much as your mom hates you? Or rather, that's a bad way to phrase it. Does your mother show preferential treatment to any of them? Well, my mom has always liked Maggie best. Her real name's Magnolia. And she's no. working on being the face of the company. She's a model. Did you guys ever have fight with the little seed pods that come out of those? What? The tree. The magnolia tree? Not that I know of. Maggie didn't really talk to me very much. She's she's older than me and she doesn't we don't really have a relationship. She's always busy. Ooh, ooh. Does she have a company of anything of her own? Maggie? <laughs> She's a model, but that's not company. Do you know who she works for? Hmm? Oh, what, Matt? I was gonna say, it's actually a fun thing if people that, uh, maybe not Tanya or honestly, mostly Crystal and, um, no, maybe Tanya, Crystal and Bertram, uh, with Maggie being referenced and talking about in the face of the company, you're pretty sure y'all have seen her on some of the advertisements for Jacobs. Think you could go down a list of family people and call them? Or try to at least. Call them? Don't think that's a good idea. Because that might give her their her location and Or it'll get a friendly one part. killed. Mm. Or that. But uh not to belabor the point, but so we have a recording here that indicates that members of Ness's family are included in the people after her. That one was dead or alive. What's that change or give us? Because we already knew that she was high priority capture, at least from Anshin. Well, if it is my mama that is the one who wants me dead, she's probably going to send some of my siblings after me specifically my big brother Beth, didn't i hear he was on pandora matthew relationship with yes you uh know the when you were at overlook uh that bartender described somebody that was in asking about someone matching your description with a photo and to your best, to the best knowledge of how they described uh, his appearance and his manners, it would have been Evans. Which, I did hear a while back a description of a fella that was looking for me that could be my big brother Evans. And if that is the case, I'm a little nervous. So you don't have a good relationship with them? Well, you know, I thought I had a good relationship with Evans until he gave me the battery for text that could also be not a good thing that he gave me. Turns out it might have been a bad thing he gave me. So I don't... I thought we were fine, but I guess he gave me a... A stolen piece of equipment. <laughs> that could still be a good thing. He could be looking out for you. Does that mean that you looked into that piece? Could you just theoretically just take that part and replace it with a uh, more traditional batter and then just chuck it at his head? No, that's literally the run? only thing keeping Tex alive. 
you can replace a battery. No, that's the only thing keeping Tex running right now. And also, that's the only reason he can learn. Ain't that right, buddy? Is it, Matt? How many years did that word have? I thought it was just a battery. I thought it was just a battery. <laughs> Matthew? You don't know Iridian technology or Nessa's raptor. I just mean meta knowledge. I mean, there's like... Nessa is speaking I honestly we... as she knows it. Alright. Like, I know we've fucking discussed this before, but it's been fucking weeks. I haven't tested another battery, so we generally don't know. No, but this we've talked the about... the first battery that worked. Yeah. You've talked about the, uh... Fucking Iridium battery before, uh, last time. Picture of me. <laughs> How? The government knows that is. I thought I erased those. Um... Feeling men and knowledge, we know that there was a battery that was stolen that was, could have been used to power a satellite or a space station. That theoretically he might be in Tex. No, no, no information on the battery was given. It was suggested as a possibility last session yeah. by you guys. That's why I said theoretically. I, yeah, no, I was like, I haven't given you any information on the battery. Due to it not having to, due to it not running out, similar to. Clay's truck, it's pretty much a case of it is assumed to be an iridium battery of some kind or iridium tech. Oh, that's just a theory. <laughs> a a battery theory. Is that is it? Is that phrase registered or something? Out I of curiosity, I it's not. Not. <laughs> it can't not if you I... change it up a little bit. It could be, it's in a movie now. It could be copyright. Is it a movie? It's yeah, it's in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Oh, shit. Anyway. So where does behind. this leave us? <laughs> Dead. I feel like I it's mean, exactly where we were before. <laughs> Honestly. I like we could still all just the movies gone. that Thaddeus hasn't watched, he did watch <laughs> the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I haven't watched it. I just know about it. Never because mind. Because I know that fact. In fairness, <laughs> that is an improvement. <laughs> We're still just going to take the battery out and just go and give it to him, though. I don't... Um, no. Robot versus people. Tex isn't a robot. <laughs> he's a dinosaur. He's basically um, family. He's family! He's my best friend! Uh, he's the only oh, family I have left! Oh. To toss this into context... I don't know if it's the battery that at least they're currently after. At least there's a battery, that'd be a tangible reason. But... So my brother yeah, doesn't um, hate apparently me. Apparently skipping over the whole shift in who was taking over the company. Yeah, but that's a bit more. Hopefully. Yeah, you more. know, Evan also could be mad because he was supposed to take over the company. If that were the case, the then there would have brother. been a tracker in the thing that you now have in your thing that goes with you everywhere. And they would have shown up beforehand, or they are currently very angrily about two days north of here. <laughs> if they knew ahead of time. Right. Because he did give it to me on my birthday, and it was kind of a surprise to everyone. So I think he, I think it was a genuine gift. Like, did everyone see this? Like, everyone see this battery before you put it in text. Is the battery it was a special? Gift. <laughs> in which case, he very well could have done um, given it to you to go and put a target upon you. The specifics of when, it, when he asked if anybody saw this, Evans gave it to you in the hallway before he you anybody went into the dining before you went into the diving room. So no, it was just you and him in the hallway at the time. Right, 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 he gave right. it to me before dinner. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. The whole thing about the uh, air, though, is at least a bit more wiggle room if you just never pop back up. You assume dead and just play dead. Versus. That would be a better one of, a... of the company anyway. 
versus a one of a kind piece of technology that they absolutely need to do whatever they are wanting to do. Well, we don't know if they necessarily you need see to. Why I, that's I no, that's what I was explaining the reasoning behind why I'm not as worried. I don't think they should be as worried about the CEO part as the other potential reasons. Because honestly, the CEO, as you said, you think he'd go be work better. Hey, Matt. There are ways to work around that, but they still need you for a specific reason. If it's the battery, that's a very specific reason that we can look to. If it's not the battery, and it's CEO is probably something to do with it at the very least, but yeah. But there's still another reason for why they want you specifically. Well, he sounded like she sense. didn't want her. She sounded like dead or alive didn't matter, but Anjan seems like they want her alive. That. Could, Very good part. Could be her mm. technical know how, because she was able to build techs. They have history of her building iridium tech, essentially. Hey, man. Then I wonder if you build something new. I wonder how high yes. Clay's bounty is. I'm going to find a chair and just start updating my Pandora and map data. Okay. I'm tired of being lost all the time. So what okay. if these two things are completely separate then? What hey, if my, my aunt just wants me dead and she doesn't know about the other thing? Whereas the ancient might know about the other thing and, and yeah, thus what's that. Hmm. So Anshin wants to hire you, monopolize your services, while your family don't want you to go to them. Are there bounties for my other siblings? No. No, they're pretty, uh, in the clear on this one. Are they still alive? My other siblings? Yeah. They should be. Looks at Bo. I've not heard anything of any of them dying. Nash is kind of a recluse. He likes to stay in his room a lot and at the gun range. Um, Maggie's probably still doing modeling stuff, and it seems like Evan's on Pandora. Or at least he was. Unless he died, which is very unlikely. Evan's scary. I don't see his death being a likelihood. Why at the very least, it's not scary? something that they would at least happen without signs. Or it looks sounds of it. It sounds like that wouldn't exactly go down quietly. Evans is a talented kid. Yeah. Like I said, not someone who would go down quietly. So if we haven't heard about it, it's unlikely to have happened. The other half of this that I did not know ahead of time that is interesting. You mentioned Gehenna? Yep. <clears throat> what was the context there? Do you know? The only thing I know is that it's from an ancient agent and they said that they needed Nessa specifically and Sirens. Sadly, I don't have any more specifics on that. Is you you can like the recording. Well, the recording is just what I heard, and the recording doesn't have too much on it. But, sure. Uh, I'll just play it over the audio, because I'm currently using the screen for something. That's fair. Uh, after it plays through and hears it, and like you said before, it's just a couple of key words because the recording distance. And Shmeet might get a little bit twitchy at hearing the voice again. That seemed to be a thing. <laughs> like, you were kind of like, Shmeet, I'm assuming you're still snacking. Yep. Just in the corner, uh, like, a leg. At this moment, you're working on it and snacking on it, and you guys hear the voice, and at that exact moment, Shmeet full on crunches and bites through the femur bone. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> and like, stops what he's doing for a minute, just like, white knuckling the body. 
gives you that like involuntary twitch and stuff. Well, it's worrisome that they know about Gehenna. Especially because nothing fucking good will come from it. Which is to say you know about it. <laughs> Just a bit. Please elaborate. It's a hidden... kind of out-of-the-way world, kind of kept a little bit of a secret off from most things. And a bit of uh, the, the Jacobs family's darker secrets. It was a genetic testing facility. Ness is gonna like pull on her collar. Turns and looks at Schmidt. G manipulation and mutation. <laughs> Sorry, Schmidt. <laughs> ah. It was shut down a while back by the main and everything, but it still happened and still leaves its uh, marks and facility. How do you know this guy? Because <sighs> he was one of them. Well, they also Good know for a fact that you're your mother's child, so I'm sure that they're... <laughs> How do you know stuff? Close as brothers, I guess, with uh, people in the family. You pick up a few things. Are you in my family? And he pulls out a picture. Uh, it's kind of torn up, but it's kind of ragged. And it's not fully there still. It looks like it's went through a lot of stuff. Uh, like a lot of like just environmental damage. And it's, uh, pieces of it are missing, but uh, you can see at least park market, pockmarketed and some of it is. Uh, a younger bow. And what you recognize, Nessa, as a younger, uh, your younger uncle and dad. And it looks like they were on a hunting escapade as they haul something up onto the back and they but they all posed with the, over it. Hmm. Now you are long lost brother? Or <laughs> no. No, nothing of that sort. How'd you meet my dad? Uh, honestly, hunting logs, bad trip, uh, bad hunt gone wrong. We both got stuck out. <sighs> but it was mostly your uncle. I met your dad as a consequence of meeting your uncle. Oh. My uncle's was great. A, he was a good guy. Uh, saved my ass a time or two in that whole situation. I was just a fan boat hand at the time. Did you work for him or were you guys friends? Well, I was just running the votes at the time. Fred bit came later on when we both kind of got cut off from everything happening on one of the hunts. Whatever they were going after, it was a big shit. Some kind of mu some kind of uh, unique skillion or something like that. Trashed the boat and got us uh, separated off a ways out from any of the lodges. That was a hell of a trip back. So, what are your guys' plans with all this? I'm going to avoid my brother. Sounds like a help. 
be a choice. Sounds like we kill waves of endless people until we can find out how to kill the people sending them. Yeah, the current thing hasn't changed. There's no making any of it go away unless there's some pretty big fucking shifts. So currently, we're dealing with Barry's dude that stole from his monastery because we know he has a vault key. And other than that, it's finding something stupid that can help us down big organization heads. Because what the fuck else are we going to do here? Like what's inside of a vault, maybe. Uh-huh. Or the people that are doing it will come to the vault opening, if that can happen. Well, maybe then it'll just destroy her like that one case a few years back. That'd be nice. So, yeah, vault, vault, vault hauntings are kind of unpredictable. So, vault hunting stuff and killing the people trying to kill Nessa. Or take her away. Mm. Mansion lady's gotta go, and as far as Jacobs is concerned, you might be able to figure out a way to shift the dynamic over to you, but then you're stuck with it. So that's for you to figure out for now. Maybe if there's a way, if you're on good terms with your brother, possibly, that you could just give it back and you could just give it to him if you don't want it. Mm. After this is over. Because if you give it to him now, I mean. You gotta people get it just first. come kill him. You gotta get it first. It's yeah, conflicting, it's though, because that's, my dad wanted me to have it, so... I feel wrong just giving hand, it away. Would your brother be more prepared to deal with such a situation himself? I mean... I don't know if any of that matters until after we find a way to depose what's currently if he there. Was the, as if he was the next in line to be CEO and was the heir instead, and you did match your own situated over to him, would he actually be able to go and deal with the situation? This... Because he'd have full access to the... Well, the people of Jacobs and everything. Really so said he'd be able to know loyalty and such like. And he had his own armies of people to go for. Would well, he technically be able to he deal doesn't with have anything... Situation? Yes, because you have it, supposedly, except then your rest of your family is going, snapping at you like piranhas. Which is why I'm asking is, if you did manage to go and do such a thing, would he be able to deal with such a situation? Would he be able to go and t go forth and take control of the family, of your family's business and such, and actually be able to go and garner enough why the blah, 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 blah. what's the word i think you're asking her about Identity. politics and things that she has no way of knowing right now i'm asking if she thinks her brother would be better at that type of thing also Bo hancock is still right there right yeah he's still here yeah i mean okay. i don't not think that my brother would be better at it but <laughs> oh what about you do you think her brother would be able to be better prepared to be able to deal with such a thing if we can go and do that and just set him loose, it'll you know, take some dealing with it. She'll have to go and make sure he's not just after trying to go and kill her. Better prepared to take care of the company? Better prepared to take well, care of the company or better prepared to just <laughs> be able to take control of the situation, the, the whole situation? Well, let me finish, I guess. Um, I was going to say probably on the front of well I don't think you've had much work in start yet have you mm -mm. I kind of figured it'd be a work it up as I go cop a deal my dad would kind of teach me a little bit more because I don't think it was like I'm going to get the keys tomorrow and I'm going to be running the company I think it was uh, hey Nessa when I get too old to do this it's your job so he's going to like teach me as I go That sounds more like him. Does her brother He's not know that old yet. Stuff? I can't say what he has knowledge on. They might want you specifically just to have a clean slate away from bad stuff. I wonder if Anshin knows. Well, yeah, Anshin clearly knows about that, so Anshin's involved somehow. Oh. I wonder if Anshin was blackmailing the family, or 
anything along that lines or started this whole thing and is bribing your aunt, maybe your mother. If that were the case, then she shouldn't have wanted her dead. I don't know if they... I don't know if my aunt would be bribed. Of everything your aunt is, she's usually at least pretty loyal to your mom. Yeah. What about your mom? She's something. Is she bribable? Mm. No, because it would ruin her face. If it got out that a powerful woman was being bribed, so then it wouldn't saying, look very good. So you're saying they're blackmailable? If not bribable. It does sound like a bit. Probably blackmailable. If they cared. That would assume whatever they would come out with would actually ruin the Jacob's reputation and not just be neutral because people still like our product. Well, if Anshin brings up the whole mutations thing. Yeah, Anshin. but you know, in the world of Pandora, I'm not sure if that's really that big of a controversy. Uh, no, 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 not Pandora. Everywhere. I still stick with rich people. I'm not sure if that'd be much of a controversy. I don't know. Are there people that have been not on Pandora? I don't know if it matters what it is per se as the concept of that it could be a case. We have to accept right now that we don't know a lot of things, so we have to make assumptions. Assume that they've been blackmailed. I'm not saying assume that, I'm saying if it's possible. I mean, if they have dirt, I guess. I just don't know if my family would actually be worried about it. Any they try not stuff? to let outside things bother them. Are there any ancient stuff here besides the lance being paid? Outside I don't have anything off. Oh, he was getting crazy because I don't have anything offhand, but I can do some digging. I have a feeling from everything that's happened more comp more often than not, that most companies have at least something on here. Could always raid a base and get an information out of people. What they know, however little that may be. Or how much. Might get lucky. Who knows? I could look to see if I can find any info on a base for you if you'd like. Base company, anything is fine. No, I say base just because, well, I think you all know about the company. You need a tangible place to go more than the company. That isn't off world. <laughs> That isn't off world. Yeah, off world's kind of a problem once you get here, getting out is a pain. Especially when you wreck the uh, landing craft. I say looking down at my echo. <laughs> yeah, that does remind me I need to send uh, somebody over to scrap that. Do you think it would be? Do, do the Lance have spaceships? Do you think it'd be possible to steal one? They have to get here somehow, and given that they're funded by Atlas and currently Ancient, probably have something. A few places I was at, I didn't see any off-world docking areas. Probably big 
bigger places. I had to burn that bridge before I wanted to, so don't know. Also seems like no one objects to raiding and stealing a rocket at this point. Well, that's mainly because it's not at this point. <laughs> Where would we go? Exactly. It's not a thing that we have set up to go do right now. Right now, we're still on <clears throat> his guy with the Vulcan. Um, this is very out of the blue, and I am sorry. Pulls that again. <laughs> no. You um said you know a little bit about the Ganana Project, or whatever it was. Um, Pauses mid-drink and sets it down. What did that look like? If it, if they, did they have any completed subjects to say the very least? Gestures at Smeet. I'm assuming Smeet, but I'm also hoping not Smeet. Thinks for a second and looks on a far. Like he has like a bit of like one of those like zoned out like, like flipping through memory looks. No, Smeet like, was on memory look. Promethea, I think. So I, I think want to say yeah. yes. I'd have to double check notes, but because I think sure that that's where we started, a... and I don't think that we left until yes. after that. That was more yeah. of a joke than an actual. So then, with that being <laughs> yeah. the case, probably not, because from what he said, it's an entire planet in and of itself in Jacob's space. Jacob's in a mess with humans. I can Jacob. say that safely. Now they might be using research from that, but I don't think that they're a direct, whatever. Not right now, anyway. Not if it would need sirens. There was some bad shit made, but it wasn't humans. I'm just wondering whether Anshin went and stole their technology or not. Well, they've absolutely looked it over, because why the fuck wouldn't they? <laughs> but... They don't that know where it is. There's that one Lanceman ah. that ran after us before that I didn't have an explanation for. I still don't understand. That's actually one of the corporate secrets that's managing to remain secret, then? As far as I understand it... Okay. Four people know where Gehenna is. That's not already on is Gehenna. one of them in the room? It's named Bo? Four people know where Gehenna is. I'll leave it at that. And would it be possible to have stolen the research from the location? Not without going. Okay. So what of the... Uh, among these four people, would anyone be looking to sell that? Well, one of them is the current head of Jacobs. One of them is his brother, who's presumed dead, and the other is his sister, who's not particularly interested in those kinds of deals. They're a bit more down to earth on things. As he's like fiddling with like, just like he's kind of fidgeting worry some and nervous like right now like spinning his ring on his finger and just not quite making eye contact with like thousand yard stare thinking about stuff I only ask because I know for sure Glance have a sort of super soldier that runs at least somewhat similar to a saint's feet I do and I'm me you guys didn't stick around that region so I couldn't get additional examination on that guy he ran through a wall just face force face first yeah but I at least expect wait hold on are you, are you talking about the big armor guy yeah Wait, question. Are you talking about the armor guy? He did. A, he ran through a hole in the wall Barry made. Oh. 
Barry had fun on his way Barry out. Made the wall, made, Barry made Listen the hole in the wall with his explosions, and the other guy followed out. He was out. still very fast. Listen, man, this is their theory fast. that they're making super soldiers, okay? Let it ride. No, it's fair. <laughs> no, he has a fair assumption. I'm not telling him anything wrong there. I was just offering up that, um, I believe, uh, 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 what's his name? Apollo did not run through the wall. He went through a hole that Barry created. I remember me and Ness jumped out the window. Did not remember that Barry made a hole in the wall. I did not either. Barry very okay, specifically made a here. hole in the wall so everyone else could get the fuck out. And then they just teleport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you can get a bit more any on that, I can see what I can dig up. I believe that would be helpful. Just I don't want to go another one of them. Do you have like a name? Do you have anything to go off of here? Um, name, an appearance, something signifying. I kind of would need something to look though. Hello? Did they say his name thing. was? I don't have a super soldier jacket. Yeah. Can I just give Deep a general fucker. description of what he looked like? Did we know yeah. his name? I uh, believe his name was mentioned. Yeah, so Apollo. Oh, we can give him the name Apollo as well. Yeah, well, you get a title. Hold on, let me make sure. I think I know what it is, but I want to make sure I get it right. Yeah, uh, you got his full title, which was like his rank and name of Royal Guardsman Apollo. That, of the Crimson Lance. Right <laughs> no, but it's a very telling sort of name. Which, um, actually, if you guys want it, uh, anybody that really wants to could roll history to see if they know about, like, the rank or anything. Ooh. I'm busy with map data. That's fair. <laughs> I'm so good. Let me. Me, big dumb. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be just one person. Multiple people can roll this one. It's just a general, like, a large signifying title and name got tossed out. Military I stuff could have been could have been heard could have been heard from foster family. Twenty two dealt with if twenty two <laughs> is really good. You said what what is it a check on? Uh history. History, history. Uh ah. thing I don't think very many people have. Got it. Plus zero, so eighteen. <laughs> Ooh, eight. Excellent. Eight. <laughs> You are a little distracted with your conspiracy theories running through your head right now. But if this, then that. But if hey, then those <gasps> lizard people. They did have their own like siren. Gonna go to go to go. Could have the siren okay. powers. Oh, um. So I think both of you would have similar amounts of information given the thing. The royal guardsman isn't just. Uh, royal guardsman is not like just him. It's signifying that Apollo is part of the Lance Royal Guard, which are some of which are considered some of the top performing soldiers or operatives of the Lance. Uh, they're individuals who one way, either through very smart, like, tact, like political plays of climbing the uh, Lance or through sheer, well, capabilities and prowess of what they do on missions have risen to a rank uh, above most people. They are outside of the normal, uh, what's the word, structure of command and answer directly to the Admiral of the Lance. And no one else. I wonder why they'd be here and what they were doing wherever you guys said you were, were before. Wonderful question there. Because I mean, those places would have been set up way before NASA got here. As a friendly writer, at the time they were catching a mutant stalker that you guys have been hired to kill. I don't know if they told Tony mean, that I, or not. I mean, uh, no, I'm just offering it as a reminder to the group. And when I say like hired to kill, like you took a posting off of the bounty board and went, we can go do that, and we're intending to turn the bounty in. Yeah. Oops. Still got partial credit. No, no, yeah, I don't, one. Oh, no, yeah, you I can don't. get partial credit. That's right. <laughs> I don't know if Tanya was told about that or not. No, that's fair. I was just offering it up as a reminder for everybody.
small, like, minor explosion from the room above where you know Clay's room is. And then I am going, I'm okay. Come down through the floor. Fun? Yeah, I don't think he's a super soldier in the sense you're thinking of, unless they've done something recently, though. He is one hell of a soldier, nonetheless, though. Super suit. Maybe. Or maybe. Could be. He was, if you remember right, like a huge kitted out uh, power armor. I'm saying stuff as Tanya because she was a total job. <laughs> That was for the rest of them. They would have seen that part. Everybody saw that part. They also saw him slag part of a wall getting it out of the way. I picture melt, Jethro melt. looking at that, looking at that armor, just like, how can I fit more death into this suit? Spikes. It needs more explosive launchers. So, how is the party doing? Nah. Nasha wants to go to bed. That's fair. I think theory crafting, and I'm upset. But my We've got more people on a list to possibly kill. I'm going to but see later. if I can't find Evans. Okay, I mean, enemy or possible ally. Really kind of need to figure mm -hmm. that out. So it's either going to be a major pain in the ass. I'll get a hold of the wife and see if she can't find him. She's better suited for that than I am. Twitch of Tanya's ears. Tanya just bunk somebody up on the two kill list. No. <laughs> yes. She's a murderer, not a thief. Oh, touche. You can't steal something if the person who owned it previously is dead. We do not need to have the philosophy of stealing again, especially with you people. Also, we don't need the Yandir mode. What are you talking about? You haven't stolen a single thing. Ever. People's time. That doesn't count. Time is worthless. Well, that's depressing. There's I'll a certain vampire that, that might disagree. Wrap up if you need to get to sleep, though. That same building's still open for y'all to stay in if you'd like. Nasa didn't stay in the building, did she? Thought she no, stayed you in had the, the room. You had the room. He was offering that up to the rest of them. That's why he said he'll go cook Clay out for the night. If you were ready for sleep. Oh, was Clay in my room? You were in Clay's room. That's where you'd been staying. Oh, I didn't know that. He can stay in his room. Nah, he can get the fuck out. He wasn't. <laughs> He's, he can go back to the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad. Nah. He treats it more as a storage space for notes than a place to stay anymore anyways. Besides, we and him got some catching up to do as he clinks together two glasses and picks up a mostly full bottle of whiskey. He sounds like he had a fun time when we were at the ice place. That sounds like him. May May. Yeah. He's gonna pick up, he'll start wandering his way up. And you guys have a few moments alone as you head up here, as you get 
he wanders up the stairs and after a moment you hear the door open I mean he's hey the fuck out she needs to get some sleep we got some catching up to do the office is open just kind of like echo down with like a not quiet voice <laughs> what would you guys like to do Oh, why don't you disrespect stairs. me? You're not old enough to get. You're not too old to get the belt. <laughs> well, going upstairs, like you said, you go into bed. You see him kind of shooing uh, Clay out. Clay has a hand, like an armful of notebooks, and like comes a couple of papers flowing around. Like he's just shoving in a bag and trying to like get out of the way. And they're heading off towards uh, his uh, towards Bo's office. Thank you for your room. He's like, oh, it's good. It's good. I don't use it much anyways. Somebody's at least getting some use out of it. You head to bed. Go to uh, bed. Anything? Go to bed. Uh, anything else for the rest of y'all? Are you all heading over to that uh, building he had set aside last time? Yeah, sounds good. Putting the bones in the bucket or barrel. Gonna go clean up. Oh yeah, he offered it for you. There is the shower upstairs if you want to use it. Yep, bones in the bucket. They can sit there overnight. Time to go clean up. Uh, heading upstairs, you can go down to the uh, thing and get a shower. Join back with group later. That's fair. So you can catch random snippets of their conversation in there. The walls aren't super thick here. And the rest of y'all, uh, everybody, it's just, is everybody trying to get in for the night or just anything that you guys want to do? Uh, Last time they were here, they played bunkers and badasses. Because we were here for Barry the whole day. wants to make his damn hammer. <laughs> they could, they could do it on Bertram's new map. No, that's not. <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> That'd be like trying to play a game on like fucking Google Maps. <laughs> it could be done. Theoretically, but no. <laughs> uh barry you might have to do it in the uh, you can either stay up late tonight to do it or do it in the or attempt it in the morning uh just because you guys did come in in the late evening here how much sleep back are you going to get i don't know <laughs> He makes it evident that he's actually trying to do some forging process. Then I will assist. Fair. Because I'm good at numbers. And I know he blows things up, but I don't know if he can smith worth a damn. Uh, what time is it actually? In um, I think I said late evening, like 7 or 8. All right. How much? I may uh, be wrong on that, but I have that written down. So I may, I, I may have. I'm hoping I have that right. So you said it was like just after dark. I'm pretty sure, and then we have however That's long we had this this October. That's what I thought. I was just knowing our luck. I'm gonna go and work on my hammer tonight because knowing our luck, okay. we're not gonna have time tomorrow. Nah, that's fair. I was just saying, you can do it either tonight in the morning. It'll just be like a sleep in day for you, and if Bertram yeah. helps, Bertram as well. And you've got a bonus die. All right. Uh, are you you went to make your hammer? It will have two particular checks. One would be a blacksmith slash weapons crafting check, and the other will be an explosives kit check. All right. You can decide who makes what checks, and the other person can have advantage from the help action. Thank you, Nick. It won't take super long to make because you did the whole part like designing and everything on the way back. 
All right, I gotta add. I can smith things if there is in fact a smithing location. <laughs> There's a little work. I got a nat right. twenty on the fucking blacksmith. That's fine. What the fuck to add to the uh, explosive one? That's a bit more questionable. Explosives kit is uh, wisdom or intelligence D6. plus proficiency. Add D6 to demolition kit check. Oh, yeah, if you have an item. Sure, yeah, I'm not saying that. I was just saying that's the base stat. All right, then I can correct it. Like a 14 for that natural. Okay, well, I only bumped up to 16. Wait. Now what I said. What are anything else to it besides the dice for that, or is it just the dice? The kit the proficiency modifier. modifier. I guess that'd be yeah. All right, so that's sixteen for demolitions check, and twenty for the blacksmithing one. All right, um, you start tinkering through. You guys end up going late into the night, like Bertram there, I guess, to help with uh, like using the power forge and stuff. You guys go over and the kit, the place that was laid out to use before was uh, the mechanics workshop. Who you start banking away and rolls out to go, who the flying fuck is out? And he rolls out and sees who it is. Oh. oh, you assholes are back. No, fuck this. I'm not doing this tonight. And just rolls back in and slams the door shut behind him. Good night. Fucking, he's, he's like rolled off. It's like fucking, fucking eight o'clock at night, nine o'clock at night. Going into 3 a.m. for this or like one or two of the morning for this. And it's just grumbling the whole time. But did he fix the vertebrate? You know what? It's a good question. I uh, can see there? if you really want, huh? Uh, it did. You guys did come in at dark. You probably won't see it right away. In the morning, though, it wouldn't be. It'd be pretty visible. Uh, he cut off most of the platform, and it seems to be in the middle of reworking it into being a proper vertebrate, vertebrate again. Buzzard. Not a vertebrate. A buzzard. He said vertebrate, and it got stuck in my head. He's working on fixing the buzzard. Yeah, getting it back to being one rather than the monstrosity of a platform that it was before. You guys do get the late night, like you're wrapping up at one or two. And as you do, you watch it just goes kind of like stumbles in and opens the door and shuts it behind him as you guys are going to leave. Hello. So this gives you like a small hand wave before <laughs> door shuts. Seems pretty tired. And also still kind of covered in blood and smelling. Uh, I will send you these things for your hammer. I'm also credit crediting Eric for his fucking lock for why I got the nat 20. Hey. Bullshit do I get that normally. Alright. Uh, anything else from anybody else for tonight? I don't know. You said I got to pick up pieces of Bo and Clay's conversation. Anything pertinent there? Um, roll perception to see what, like, what you catch. Sound of shower water. Wow. Pretty <laughs> thrilling. <laughs> And, of course, it's doing the thing where the page went white and now has to sit there and reload. Fair. 22. 22, damn. I have plus six. Fair. Uh, so you hear some of, like, some of the snippets you get, it seems like... A little bit of bullshitting back and forth of just random stuff, giving each other a bit of grief. Uh, it gets a little bit more serious as he like, brings up and has him start talking about what Clay's perspective on the whole situation was like without anybody else there to interrupt or distort it. Just to, like seems like as a 
just in case measure. Uh, nothing there particularly stands out. Uh, you do hear him asking about somebody from Overlook if you're actually doing, if he was doing anything serious about that, and you get the kind of like, no, like, ba like what is it not? Like, bashful isn't quite the right term, but kind of like nervous, like, butt out. Okay. Of like, stop trying to fuck with my love life thing from him. Uh, and you do catch one particular bit uh, that may stand out of. At one point, they get quiet for a minute, and Clay goes, so are you tell her about mom or how that's gone he's like no I think uh, she's been through enough for the moment to worry about I'm gonna leave that alone <laughs> we'll leave that alone for a different time besides it won't be it'll be a little bit before she gets back especially if she's looking for Evans Noted. I'm like, all right. I still think you should, but I'll leave, I'll leave it to you on this one. Yeah, let's just. Or he seems like she has a lot on her plate, you know. Like that's fair. That's fair. And they meander back on to other random topics. <laughs> but long rest occurs. Everybody has a good, healthy sleep without fear of people shooting them or stabbing them or running them over, or lo underground uh, underground lobsters trying to pull you under. That is not a fear that I had. It should be. It, it should. Happened. It should be. It's <laughs> happened. Noted. Just let me know if you need to update a 5e edition Brock Lobster stats, Matt, for raid boss. <laughs> You guys aren't fighting Cromorax yet. Hmm. <laughs> Big like fucking great 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 grandkid of Cromorax at this point though. <laughs> Twice removed, slightly related to Cromorax. Is our old bus people. still here in town? Uh, the bus was the town's bus. So yes, you know, it was Murmur. Not Murmur. Um, it was Murmur's the CEO. I messed names up. Uh, it's Cursive's bus. Okay, that is all. Okay. No further. Yeah, no further questions. Okay, yeah, uh, morning comes around. Yeah, if you're know the bus is there. Everybody's there. Um, day is yours. Time for Barry to go to sleep. Barry, Bertram, you're still asleep earlier in the morning. You probably wake up like closer to like eleven or noon. Just to get your like long rest in. <coughs> mm. I guess I'll start organizing. <laughs> It's weird having a day where we're not being shot at or risking That's death. what I say. I'll offer it to you. It's early morning. Anybody has anything they want to try before you guys take off or you make your plans? This is the day.
Good. <clears throat> uh, Robert says he's got something to bring up when he's back. Oh, okay. I guess I'll wait to start to start organizing. As far as personal whatnots go, not really. <laughs> Fair. Like outside of just the really quick thing of just make sure that I can in fact replicate the blades that my shield has, but that should just be some crafting things and scrap whenever I have the opportunity. Yeah. But they've been annoyed last night, so I don't want to deal with that right now. You mean you don't want to push your luck with the crotchety old fucker, the crotchety old fucker that's, uh, the mechanic? Just seems unkind. Alright, uh, do mark off that rare part, uh, that you had, Dylan. Yeah. That was consumed in the process of making this. That's probably not worded the best or like the most clearly. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll clarify. Um, but hey, everybody can go get breakfast, grab their stuff. Breakfast this morning is just on the house. Given how everything else has went, you could earn. So you guys deserve a little bit of a break for breakfast. Oh, yeah, there is that bit for that he said that's asking if Nessa can make the scissors. Uh, Calm oh, the down, scissors blade Sundowner. Setup, yeah. Oh, this must be Nessa. I read. You read Nissan. I think it oh, corrected yeah. to <laughs> Nissan. <laughs> Quickly, contact. New friend. Nessa would like to stay in bed. That's fair. Just thinking on the day and everything. She's got a lot to think about. There is a lot to think about. Uh, I suppose that would be something of note if everybody shuffles in for breakfast or to get other foods and stuff. Nessa's not down. Oh no, dad, so say it. If it becomes to a worrying amount of time, then just send a message, a text. Wow, that says you okay. It is up to Nessa when she would be down. Oh no, she's sleeping. She's gonna sit and think about it. Those are two different things. No, not when you're sad. There's still two different things. She can do both. She can dream about it and think about it at the same time. Well, then it's just sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Quick question, Matt. Do I have to expend a grenade to go and activate my ability? No, no. It has two charges per short rest. And then if you want to do any more before it, you can expend a grenade. Okay, I like that. Thank you. Or if you want to save charges for later, for some reason, you can also just straight up expend the grenade first. It's I just an alternative ground. mode for activating it. His inventory is full. Must use one. <laughs> Actually, no, yeah. I just... Be I tried very hard to not go and tease Matt about it, because he told me if I, I could hold extra grenades, but they would be in the storage deck. <laughs> And that you would actually have people shoot them if they were actually visibly on me. And so he, Halo style. He just never fucking noticed, apparently. He handed me four grenades. You like had, fighting like, bandits. They don't make good finance. They don't good make they don't make good life decisions, let alone tactical decisions. I don't know, I like his plan. I'm gonna hide this visual aspect of an audible game. 
like three people spoke at once. I have no idea what was just said. Yes. His grand plan of hiding a visual aspect from an audio only game. <laughs> just don't mention it, apparently. Yeah, he just, gave it to yeah. He also knows about him. <laughs> Maybe he's just not counting well. He doesn't. Maybe he's just. I'm assuming not he's not cross referencing your sheet. <laughs> At every odd <laughs> interval of time. I was just doing random fucking sheet checks. <laughs> I see you have, see you have three grenades. Man. I'm going to keep track of this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I mean, you did explicitly, me, explicitly warn me about that, so I mean, I've <laughs> just been waiting for it. But you can't anymore because I don't have extra grenades now. Well, it's okay. I have extra grenades. You just have a hammer yeah, that explodes, really apparently. That can't at all backfire. Uh, I mean, it probably could. I guess I like it. I, fu I flubbed the roll, okay? You explode. Well, I always explode. No, no. This you time, not on purpose. <laughs> as long as we don't have another cane situation and have to go through like an hour and a half of inventory sorting like, off of one dead body. Shit? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what happened? Where'd this there? come from? Oh yeah, your other past character dropped it and you just picked it up and now you have it again. <laughs> the character hoarded a lot of things and kept all the jewels and gems and stuff and never sold them. So when they died and inventory had to be sorted out from the body, there was a lot. <laughs> there was a lot. It literally took like an hour and a half of sorting out. It's fine. Uh, I will say for Tanya, you're wanting to ask uh, Nessa if she can make the thing, but Nessa has not been down yet as you are downstairs and waiting. But you do get yeah. breakfast. Whenever I see ghosts, How's it pronounced again? Ghost. Ghost, okay. Can you spell that in chat, please? G-O-S-E. In chat, please. Oh, I thought it was going to be French with a few extra letters. <laughs> right there. These and none silent. of them sound like they should. There's a Q in there for okay, some reason. Gosh. I forget the Qs. Can we have steak for dinner tonight? Just give him a give him a pan of the scooped out <laughs> scooped out marrow that's been liquefied. Just like a side eye and ear toward that direction at that question. <laughs> I can make steaks, but I'm not putting that on everybody's steaks. Well, can you heat it up later then, please? Sure. Okay. All right. I can fucking do. What is my life come to? Let's think of it like any kind of butter or fat. You know what? Don't push the luck out of this. Okay. If you guys are here for tonight. I'll make steaks. Looks over, just looks across the table at Schmidt, wherever he is. You get a treat tonight. I'm gonna grin, show my teeth. <laughs> just go to Pandora, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Who told you that? I don't... <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. They had malicious intent. <laughs> I, I I find myself agreeing with the with that assessment at this point. But unfortunately, in the end, it was still the better choice. So they weren't wrong. You've also got a nice shop owner. Better than the last boss.
by the fucking landslide. <laughs> How long is Nessa sleeping in? Also, I feel like with Bertram waking up late, the first thing he walked into hearing was, Go to Pandora, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> she just wants to stay up in the room. Hey. Hey, Crystal. Crystal? Hey, Crystal. Good morning, Tanya. Can... Spin... Looks at clock or any way to tell time. This has been up Probably there like a while. One or two at this point. Okay. Nessa hasn't come down. And she kind of likes you best. Can you can you take Schmidt and go upstairs and see if she's okay? Am I allowed to go upstairs? Mm. Say looking over at Goose. At this point, I don't see why not. See Poe up there, let him know we got stuff going on. During the day starting at least, give him like a heads up on the time. We'll do. Come on, sweet. Let me go check on Nessa. Okay. I'll follow. Alright, you guys head upstairs and you realize very quickly for a second. <sighs> I don't know which door Nessa's in. <laughs> When in doubt, roll a die. How many I'm gonna doors say are there? There are, there are four doors. I'm writing down what they apply to. Then roll a d4 to see which one you go for. Ah, uh, no, I dropped four. You open the door to a bathroom. Is it a nice bathroom? At least. Ah, uh, decent, especially for where you're at. I'm checking door number two, second. Door number two, second? That one is actually her door. Let's okay, open it up. ignore that door. I'm going to go um, to all the other ones first. No, completionist. No, that. you she, got it wrong. Too bad. Nessa, shut it. No, you're oh, locked into the cutscene. Fuck Nessa you. Would Nessa have had the door locked? <laughs> hmm? Would Nessa have locked the door or just left it as just shut it and went to bed? She just shut it and went to bed. Fair. Uh, is she awake? When are you opening or knocking? Okay. Knocking. Well, no, you didn't knock for the bathroom, but you will knock for the doorway. Awake. Nessa's sitting on the bed, holding Texas paws, like moving them up and down. Just going along with it. Hmm. Okay, um, slowly gonna close the door back out. No, oh, never mind. Hey, Nessa, how are you doing? Good morning. My worldview got rocked. It did, and how do you feel about it? I'm not feeling about it. Here, are you doing okay? I'm testing his joints. Did he have a problem with it or something? No. Perhaps was he complaining about feeling joint pain? Does he, he feel has joint arthritis. <laughs> How does that work? <coughs> and could you fix it? He has a rusty, rusty nail in his arm joint. <laughs> you want me to go find you some nails to replace that one? I can do that. That'd be helpful.
He specifically got it when he carried us across the lake. Not the lake, the river, when we ran a couple months ago. Yeah. He's not but supposed I'm... to be in water. Yeah, I should have guessed that. He is made of metal. I think he got metal. a little rusty. Okay, um, do you want to talk about it? it seems no, be... I'm okay. This does not seem to be okay behavior. I can't talk about what I haven't processed. I can help you process it, I suppose. No, that's not that's not how it works. Okay, fair enough. Just want to sit here, process. Um, what type of nails do you need? They're about yay big. Little little X on the top. Little X on the top. Got it. Yeah. I'll go see if we can find some. Thank you. I'm gonna go check the other doors now. Quick question. What level are we supposed to be? 17. Seven. 17? What? Shadow. All right. I was close. Just ignore me for a little while, why don't you? Please check and make sure that you haven't already updated your stuff to level 7 and just forgot to mark it 7. Uh, I haven't. Like having your alternative ability. Mm-hmm. Is it He's like having I haven't... some technical difficulties. Like I apparently. What the fuck was that? Damn it. But what's behind number door one and three for Crystal? As you check behind the other doors and rooms. Also, did she. Did Crystal say that out loud? I'm gonna go check the other doors, just leaving Nessa. That would be fucked. Yes. <laughs> she has no reason Nessa, not to. As you're saying and sending this out, by the way, there are a handful of things from Clay's shit just here. So I feel like, I feel like there's this potentially like you just sent them off on a goose chase to get you something that's in reach. Maybe. That you just now realize afterwards, they're like, oh, hey, look, those are over there. She realized. <laughs> um, but opening one seems to be a bedroom, a uh, different setup, bit of a wider bed, probably a like king size bed. No, is it a king? A queen's the bigger bed, right? King king's is bigger. bigger. King is bigger? King is bigger. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I was getting those reversed in my head. Uh, king size bed stretched out over there on like a kind of like rough out uh what is it rough rough framework rough post bed I can't bed frame. The term right now bed frame there thank you uh drawer in the corner you can see a couple of them have some pictures and stuff on them um uh, I would say you could probably see over in one of them where he has uh, what looks like some, some cleaning supplies for like it maybe some a set of the revolver he had on his side. A small desk in one corner with a light on it that just looks like it has a book or two sitting on it. Anything special about the books? Or is it just books? Uh, the books just look like reading books. 
All right. Um, Nessa asked me to go get her some nails. I couldn't find Mo or Bo. You do have another door. That was just one. Oh, uh, it's just one? Yeah. I should go knock on the other door, see if it's supposed to, which it must be. Uh, knocking on the door, you hear just like a mm, from behind the <laughs> behind the door. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm delivering a message. If you speak that loudly again, I am going to shoot the door. Noted. Uh, you just see like a long like uh, a groan from the other side. Yeah, wake up. Something like a chair gets kicked. Did hear another one, and it sounds like Bo and Clay are both in this room. Hmm. Both in this room, just waking up. Who was I talking to Anything? just a minute ago? Goose? Do what? Goose was the one that gave me the message? The message? Uh, oh, told to him tell him, like, check him and see how he was? Yeah. yeah. Ghost told you to wake him up. Okay. You just Ghost. send him on down, basically. Because he hadn't been down in a little bit. Just, just making sure. <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, don't want to talk now. <laughs> Yeah, no. I'd rather not get shot because if I get shot and they miss, there's this door is right over there. <laughs> and I don't think gunfire would be very good for her state that she's in at the moment. Okay, fair enough. Uh, just moving on then, getting your uh, bolts and stuff. Yep, yep. You can go find that. Screw or whatever it was. That Looking around, needed. trying to figure it out. Ghost can point over towards uh, the mechanics garage to just steal. It says just steal one out of the drawers. He's probably still out. Stealing? Yes. You're still. And you've you never stolen a thing in your life. Handful of those out of there. It takes a few minutes of digging around before you find. He just has like a tall like. Like six by six, like shelf with a bunch of little drawers that all have a bunch of little bolt, different size bolts and stuff in them. You get some out and bring them back. You can bring them back over to Nessa. You're right. I've never stolen a thing in my life. I'm just recollecting what's mine. Obviously, after all, everything is yours. It's in my hands, in my pocket, it's mine. That's not stealing. It's taking possession of my own property. Um, after I get back, I'm gonna go back on that Nessa door. Nessa, I'm back. Come in. She's okay, unscrewing the the joint is this the screw you're looking for is it part of me wants to be mean and say roll a die but I'm just going to slide on things. this one <laughs> no you absolutely should I don't know tech things I can't help with building screws and Nonsense. Years and years of trying to futz with finding the right size bolt to ships. I need a two and a, no, flashing I need a two and a quarter. Three. If it's a I need a two and a quarter by one and three eighths. This is two and a quarter by one and five eighths. And now it won't fit. What's the difference? A lot. Two it looks the same. Two eighths to be exact. It's not <sighs> perfect, but it'll work. <laughs> Tell that to a carpenter. No, that's what I'm saying for Nessa's thing here. 
Uh, now, Cap Captain do. Chris, normally we get close enough. We go, yeah, it's My dad's a close enough type of carpenter. My dad is not. May May. Oh my goodness, stop it. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? No. 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 Mike is doing Plastic its job. chewing and intensifies. She's gonna put right. the screw into the joint. Do you, um, need or want anything else? Some breakfast, maybe? No, I'm okay. You hear the door open on the other side, and you're kind of, like, half dead, <laughs> half hungover. You need to eat. I As did. Clay wanders on his way out. She's eating jerky. Um, too much of that probably isn't good for you. We've been eating it for weeks. So I, we have, but that's not a good thing. That's out of necessity. Unless we have nothing else. Unless you want to eat people, but that's a sweet thing. I don't really want to eat people. Yeah, I didn't think you would. What if I just said, yeah, I do? Um, I wouldn't let you. Tex won't see people. He doesn't. As a hunger on the hands can satisfy. I was going to say, I could believe that. He doesn't want to eat people. He can't digest anything. Are you sure about that? He doesn't have a gut. He doesn't, but he also does a lot of things that, um... I don't think he should be able to do. It would more be like a... Nom 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 nom, and then it would just fall out. That is a description that I was not expecting, to be honest. He could try to eat it, it just wouldn't do anything. Yeah, I'm going to get you some breakfast. Okay. I'll be if right you back. want to. I'll be right back. I'm going to go find Goose. See if I can, you know. Why do you keep calling him something. Goose? Because it's G-O-S-E. <laughs> if you spell it G-O-S-E, stop thinking Goose. G-O-O-S-E. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a ooh, okay. it's an ah. Gosh. <laughs> you could go down and get some for breakfast from Ghost. He'll send a plate up easy enough. For the longest time, I thought you were calling him Ghost. <laughs> nope. In the image of a goose butler. Just better. I was picturing a ghost butler. You can get some food <laughs> to take back up to nest. <laughs> but how aggravated is he? Probably not super. He had a moment of, oh god, when you brought up the butter bit, but otherwise he's alright. 
had to recope with peoples are psychos here. More of he just got tired. He doesn't want to cook it. But you Fair. know. All right, get that lined out, brought up. Hmm. Whenever Clay comes down, eventually, Tanya will just wave him over and then touch him and cure his hangover. If you're doing alcohol, counts as poison. <laughs> you know what? For this, I'll let it happen. As he stumbles down, as you hear him kind of like stumble out, uh, nest up top and just kind of grumbling mildly before like quietly just taking a deep breath and moving on as you pass, you'll pass Clay coming, uh, you'll pass Bo coming down as you head up. Uh, Crystal, and he'll sit down at his table. and wave food over and when you do that he takes a second to take a deep breath of thinking about it as the energy rippled down your arm into him and he goes you know I'd hire you on just for that I think tell your dad whenever he comes down too oh I thought you said you wanted to heal Bo when he came down oh that was uh, that was meant or did I meant Clay because Clay you said Clay was coming down first yeah, Clay was down there on the side as he just takes a... Yeah, when, you know, yeah, I whenever, appreciate that. Yeah, it was the, yeah, meant to be Clay, and then whenever Bo would come down, him as well, but... Yeah, he just is like... Yep, I appreciate that. That helps a lot. Now I just have the exhaustion to deal with. And then when Bo comes down and you heal him, he has the whole line for you of, I'd hire you on just for that, I think. I don't think you want me as a chef. I never said I was going to hire you as a chef. Stops for a moment. Has kind of has the look of gears ticking in head. I don't think I like that look. What's going on there? I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. Wrong with the aura of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Hired on, like, is a person to work in the town as muscle, odd job stuff. Oh, the killing doctor. people, I'm good at that. <laughs> Just gives you that look of, like, I don't think I want to know, and <laughs> moves on with his stuff. Days, your guys's. Anything else? Are you guys going to take like a day to rest here before moving on? Sounds good to me. Yeah. Sharpen and clean gear. Because I know originally this was a plan to stop and move on to Oasis. Is that still the plan? Once Nessa's ready to roll. Unless someone offers an alternative. I'm really only not pushing because Nessa's having a thing. Internally, I'm like. There are people showing up at this location looking for her, but sure, we're, we're, give her a day. <laughs> Sounds like Bertram's a little on edge. Constantly. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he needs coffee. This will help. No, it won't. Would you like something that would? No. Needs a, Bertram needs a smoke outside. That also works. Uh, anything you guys would like for the day? Like, Nessa, do you spend the day up top? Do you guys do anything down below? Do we want to move on to the next day? I spend the day up top. Does everybody have a small panic when um, you realize that ghost wills out snakes and you watch Tanya smear particularly like uh, nobody else has that butter on it? Give it to Schmeet. <laughs> oh, shit, Schmeet, yeah. But the only thing that would be there is if Crystal or Nessa unthinkingly like reach for it, I would just kind of like raise a hand up and be like, no. No. <laughs> No, you don't want that. 
we saw what she I was think you doing. were getting her from her room at the time. And she's been in her room. She's like, oh, no. All right. Well, let's have anyone has that. We'll let it roll over to the next day. another relatively easy night of sleep. <laughs> I guess at this point I'm asking how long do you guys want to stay before you move on? How long does it, is it taking Nessa to recover? That's a good question, Second day of is that does Nessa come down for the second day of breakfast? Yeah, Nessa will come down. Today it's Ansi to leave. Tomorrow it's Cameron. Feeling any better, Nessa? Hmm. She's gonna shrug. Anything you want to say, you just need some time. I'm okay. Looks at Crystal. <laughs> just give you a shrug. How um how obvious is Bertram's like kinda like antsiness, I guess? It's probably at fidget and toe tap. <laughs> okay. How's Barry? He's doing pretty good. <laughs> I feel like I feel like there's a kinda um... just Awkwardly, like silent people. Waiting just... to see. Yeah. I will say, probably uh, in the morning of that, when everybody's doing stuff, Crystal Bow will like gesture you over for a second. Might as well go see what he needs. All right, fair. Uh, as he comes over, here to go. You see as he like reaches under into his uh, vest, pulls out a bit more. Like you see him count like through something and tosses some money on the table back for the for the continued pay as uh, said at the start let me continue pay uh, I remember he asked you to stick around uh, when you guys very first got here stick around to take care of Nessa and he would give you random bits of pay to continue to help and play guard I mean, you, but do you think Nessa is all right? Look in your own opinion. Answering honestly, no. But I have faith she will be. I ain't gonna force her to talk either. If she wants to talk, she can come forward with it. I just haven't seen her so down before. Well, it's not every day you find out your family's trying to kill you. That's true. On top of a whole world view restructuring, I imagine she's a little out of it. Give her some time to settle. I suppose. Probably for the best on that one.
would have to know if anything he likes or enjoys or I don't know would want. Hmm. Something. I don't admittedly have the most I know on her. I didn't get to interact too much since she's been born. Family issues and drama kept the, their whole family had they had some family issues and drama that kept me away I guess, but best I know she likes tinkering she likes building. But I imagine you had gotten that part already. Yeah. Hopefully she won't be opposed to it any longer. Or from this point on. Well, chicken news I doubt it. Changes things. I doubt it. I bet she'll keep going. Just gonna have a bit of a stutter for a while. Keep at it. Keep with him. Keep her safe. <laughs> she moves the along. I bet. She's tough, a little shit like her dad. Whether she wants to admit it or not. It's an admit, Dad. But if he's any like anything like she is, I guess I can believe it. I guess I'll accept the payment and get back to what I was doing. Gives you a nod. Uh, anything else, or are you guys want to just... I should I ask how much this is? Oh, uh, that's 500. Okay. <clears throat> I think, uh, nope. What? Carry on. Just talking over the table. So, even if she's not feeling. No, oh, I know that's like Nessa's actually brain thinking that's she's right, upstairs. Yeah, yeah she's actually down there. Hey, Nessa. Mm-hmm. Even if you're still feeling, you know, kind of out of it tomorrow, maybe getting back in the van and going on would help. Stare at the clear blue skies for a while and just the scenery moving. Let your mind wander there and calm some. It'd probably be best to get in the van anyway. Probably shouldn't stay in one place for too long. Well, let us know when you're ready to go. She's gonna go get in the van. All right, uh, on your way out, as you guys are all getting out, I assume everybody's loading up to leave. If she's going, yeah. All right, uh, as everybody's getting ready up, getting loaded up, getting ready to leave, uh, Bo will walk out to see off. Clay's getting his shit loaded up and ready to go. I assume everybody's taking jumping in the van with him. Fuck. Not a van. At this rate, I'm gonna make this thing a fucking van because you guys keep saying it and it's messing me up. Uh, <laughs> the RV. I'm about to just start. I'm just about to convert it to a van and say fuck it. Uh, <laughs> it's a van with a trailer attached. I think uh, Bo will walk out and see how everybody's doing and see it all go in there. And he'll have a small, like, uh, wooden case in hand that's, like, just a couple inches thick. 
uh, and then like a little bit wide, a little bit like what is it? Like uh, a little under a foot wide and a little under half a foot deep or thick. <laughs> and walk out and see how everybody's doing. I think most of you seem like you guys are doing okay, minus Bertram's nervous energy and Nessa's. Nessa's. A bit of a slump right now, I'll say. Well, Ms. Nessa? You take care out there, and, uh. You know, I think you. I think this might be better suited in your hands right now than mine. And he holds out a the little wooden case. Some that came from uh, something your uncle lent me a while back. It was one of his. I think he might want you to have it at the moment. Thank you, Bo. For everything. Use the nut. Of course. And if you need anything else, well, the number's always open. And he'll step back and give you guys the, the nod and just try to like step back and out of the way if you guys free to head out. To the van. To the van. <laughs> <laughs> to the truck Eagle with van. a camper hooked onto the back. <laughs> to the RV. All right. Uh, as everybody loads up and gets ready to go. Um... Question for Nessa: Would she open it up to look at it, or would she hold off for the moment? She's holding off for the moment. Okay, let me know when uh, she would look at it. So uh, this is going to be to like before. This is a three-day travel south towards Oasis. I was going to say I'll do similar to before of. That may will make it a skill check, one for each day. Somebody provides a skill to see how they would like to help travel. It could be as simple as survival to find a path, perception to keep an eye out for bandits, or perhaps dealing with an obstacle that would have popped up along the way that you can think of and have a solution for with one of your skills. Excuse me. It's a three-day journey. It'll be one for each day. Who would like to start as you guys pull out and start a driving? Oh, gosh. I I'll do it. I... Oh. Anybody can right. start. Go with uh... Yay! <laughs> I get a yeah, I survival. All right. Uh, what are you doing to help out? Like, well, uh, how are you using survival to help out with getting getting uh, along the way and improving? <laughs> could be finding a path. Could be food gathering. Trying to avoid certain critters and creatures. How how are you helping to uh, travel and helping get along? Yeah, just staying on the correct path. Give me a name. What do you go with? Look for. Okay. okay. Uh, that's fair. Uh, roll survive. We'll see what you get. Mm. Yeah, 17 for 17 is a pass. As you're keeping an eye out, uh, listening to what Bo is mentioning of like, uh, what's the word? Landmarks and other such things to like judge where you are and keep an eye out and help out with that. Because, well, there are maps of Pandora. They're not like exact positioning always. And the Echo Net has its limits occasionally, even though they're mostly helpful. You and help like with thinner areas, harder areas to navigate, getting across some of the safer patches of rockier cliff edge areas. And that makes it past the first day as you guys head south and it slowly turns from this like savanna like light grassy plains ish area and is definitely rapidly becoming more arid, more craggy rocks, more desert like. Uh, 
uh, day two, who would like to provide the skill? I will. All right, what'd you like uh, to provide? I, I want to do a stealth roll before right. I go and uh, scout ahead for a few paths you want to be able to avoid uh, angry, hostile wildlife or something. All right, absolutely can. Roll stealth. Stealth to get us on it. A natural 20. That would be a pass. Uh, as you sneak ahead and start to take a look around, you know Al as you're, uh, you probably go like a good like 20, 30 minutes out just taking a walk while everybody's packing up and getting ready to go out for the day. And you know a particularly like nasty looking pack of skags, like including one that's a large hulking armor plate, thick armor plated going back. Paul's just in the like dusty rock area of this just oozing a bright vibrant toxic caustic green just some like some of the like drools dripping out and just sizzling the ground you find a pack that has like two or three of those in it in the mixed up all of its other stuff wandering around uh and going back you can give people like the heads up of like hey this is here we need to go around if we want to make it safe and not risk a vehicle or other things and help them avoid that danger for the day and I'll say that is day two what is day three can I do a nature check uh yeah how would you like to use nature um to see if there's like some plants or something that we can gather to eat fair uh, roll nature. Does it can use that to see if he can like notice something that'll help with food? That's a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, taking a look along, you see a couple of fruiting cactuses that you know, um, maybe in bulk they aren't good for you, but you can have some of them in minor, especially if you guys prep them right at night. That will help like provide a little bit of variety to the diet and a little bit of the nutrients you need. Yes, I was thinking As about you... Crystal telling her that she couldn't eat beef jerky all the time. That's fair. Uh, as you pick a couple, like, you grab uh, you and grab like maybe another hand or two of people to go, like, go and pick some of these and start getting them ready later that night. You gotta eat some vegetables sometime. Or maybe have it like for a good lunch, because in the early afternoon of the third day is when you guys will arrive. Uh, three successful checks means you guys avoid any rough dangers. You only needed two in this turn, in this instance to get the majority, so congrats, well done. Along the journey, utilizing the... I have looked up the Google Maps. Uh, find somewhere about equidistant from Keepsake to, and Oasis. Basically, if it's three days to Oasis, it's three days from Keepsake same like circle direction but find some where off in there and then because they're the one that actually sent a response send something to brewer asking if there's anything going on in that location or in oasis well, that the lands could um, use assistance I'm gonna with say or you won't have an immediate response that's fine um i'll get back to you on that though that's an interesting bit um, roll a d20 for me. Me? Yeah. 13. Okay. Uh, I do have a question for, uh, because session session, it may be easy to forget. I'll write it down if not. Does Nessa open that case at any point throughout this? No, she's holding off until she's more alone. Okay, that's fair. Um, so, third day rolls around. Early afternoon. You guys roll in. Uh, start coming down. The rocky, craggy bits that you guys were in and much of buildings and machineries you were passing in, you can literally see junk piles of, like, old scrapped vehicles, uh, heavier construction, heavy excavation equipment, all kinds of things like mounted up in some areas and piled high, kind of similar to ones like you guys tried to dig through for scrap at the beginning. Ban 
bandits are all in and out of it, but overall, for the most part, you guys safely avoid them, taking your time, being careful about it. The handful that pick a fight with you guys or try to do something that are never in enough force to truly be a danger to all of you, because at this point, I mean, like, you guys are severely dangerous to most people on this planet. <laughs> um... It continues down from that until you start to hit more. Uh, the valley is start to get deeper and deeper, and it starts to get go from less hard packed dirt and rocks to just sand and dust and occasional rocks jutting out, <laughs> making your ways down. Eventually, you come around this curving, uh, snaking road between two large rock faces. And as you come out of one side, you see down the rest of this hill that continues to snake a little bit. Is a town comprised of maybe 20, 25 buildings of varying stories. Better shape than most places you'll see, but still mildly ramshackled, uh, including the fact that a dock runs out of one side of this with a like small what's the word. Uh, it's like a, um, an uh, it's not an awning. It was like you'd park vehicles under this uh, outside. Oh man, I'm pulling a blank. Garage. I guess like open sided garage would be the best way to put it. I can't think of the word right now. Uh, running down, and you see a number of boats with like parked up against it, but the boats have like some mild propulsion built up to like propel them off the ground. You can see them hovering uh, and you can see occasionally like one person is like pulling out and it takes off and skidding across down into like these dunish areas of these bottoms and very quickly drops like 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 feet below the town as it's on the edge of this uh, drop off. Uh, some people building about. Uh, some of the buildings are refined. It does seem to have a number of people about in it, including as you pull up with this hot, dry, arid area, like a uh, fountain spring in the middle of the town running with a bit of water. People give it like looks to you guys as you pull up and in and park for the day and park nearby. Uh, as everybody starts to file out, you start to hear like this high pitched wine build up almost like a fast moving object for like just building up and up and up and bringing the tension before like this loud echoing boom shatters out like rattling stuff for a second I think all of you have a moment of did we just get bombed did that look like it's supposed to happen <laughs> before it continues with like a boom, 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 boom ready to stay to the beat as you realize no it comes up from a head in a building that seems rattling of an of a night of a, what is it not necessarily night but a dance club or like a bar just heavy music <laughs> flaring out as you see some of the lights and neons inside and like the door opens you hear a lot of roaring and a lot of people inside and i think we'll call it there for the night as you guys arrive in because it is 11 40. it looked like it's supposed to happen good <laughs> Yes, it did look like it was supposed to happen. Everybody just had that moment of bomb. No, just the base. Just the base. As you guys have arrived in Oasis. Healthy, hearty, and raring to go. Partially. Some people are still a little off. All right. Anything else? Like calling this party mentally healthy is a exaggeration. Oh, sorry. Uh, flashing across the top of it, uh, it is the called the uh, club is called the Dancing Dunes. It's like lit up in neon in front of it, like uh, popping up on these like uh, what are they? Uh, some of the framework. The lights are glowing bright. A lot harder to see because it is daytime, but it is still neon, so still visible. And it has somebody next to it, like with their hands up, thrown up in the air, and it keeps flickering back and forth between two different light setups to make it look like they're just shaking their hips back and forth. So no little neon sandworm. Missed opportunity. We don't talk about the worms here. We're going to. <laughs> We're going to. <laughs> They're right well, over that's there. That's where we'll call it for the night. All right.
get out of here. <laughs>